Mama. I love you, babies. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, we are attempting to get it all done and we're starting off by letting my chickens out in the morning so that they can get their water and their food and so that they can kind of get out of the way so I can go ahead and check for eggs. If you watched my last video, you saw that we have already collected two eggs from these hens and it's kind of been a long time coming. We had to wait like a week for them, for at least one of them to feel comfortable. And we're just kind of waiting for the other ones to start laying. The nice thing is, is we can feed them our like dinner scraps and that's kind of like a little treat for them. And that often gets them out and in the sun, which is one of the things that they need in order to start laying eggs. After that was done, I moved into our kitchen. It was horrendous. I believe it, the night before, I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna go to bed. Usually, I like to try to clean up and I don't like to have a messy kitchen, but I'm trying to just like listen to my body and put things off if necessary. And so you can tell my kitchen is in well need of a deep clean. So we are gonna tackle this by cleaning off the kitchen table, mopping or you know vacuum mopping the floors and doing dishes along the way. It's like I can't walk on the ceiling Oh yeah Got me dreaming Dreaming in colors I never dreaming Oh yeah I let you in So Aubrey recently was like in a little kick of trying to cut out and decorate eggs. So we have some extra eggs in our little carton here, but you can see our very first egg at least. By the time that I filmed this, I think on this day I did collect my second egg and that was included in my last video. So you can kind of see how beautiful that first egg was, but we're going to continue on and try our best to finish cleaning up this kitchen while Jack is napping.
So in January, I started to homeschool Aubrey using preschool curriculum. Based on her birthday, she like just misses the cutoff to start preschool this past fall. And so technically she would start this fall in preschool, but she would be one of the oldest kids in her class. So I just kind of figured I would start her curriculum this January and see how things go. And so on this little whiteboard that I put on this table, I kind of keep track of what I have to do for the week. And this gives me a little bit of wiggle room in case Aubrey is in the mood to do more homework pages. I don't have to really be as super strict as I initially thought I would be with like, oh, we're only going to do this one page on this day and so on. So it gives me a little bit of wiggle room. Moving on, we are cutting up this apple. Aubrey was hungry, but I am saving and chopping up all of the scraps because the chickens love these apples. So I make sure to chop them all up. And if I take off some of the skin when I give an apple to Jack, I make sure to chop up the skin as well. And we just dump that in the outside portion of the little chicken's cage. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us I really love how this vacuum like really nicely cleans our floors but unfortunately it's not like a super miracle vacuum that gets underneath the fridge or the oven like no other vacuum would ever do so I have to break out my little handheld one to try to get any of the little crumbs that were either pushed or fell underneath those little crevices and I am wiping off this handle and like the little rim of our oven because it just really bothered me when I was down there vacuuming. I was like, oh, this is gross. Let's let's go ahead and wipe this up. So here's your reminder to wipe up those things that you don't get to often. But now that we are done cleaning up the kitchen and it looks spectacular in my opinion, at least relative to how it all started, Bubs is now awake and I'm feeding him a little like yogurt popsicle. I have some silicone molds that I make these myself and I use a little acrylic like cake pop stick that I bought like a hundred of. No way do I need that many, but I have them. And so while he's enjoying that and you know, secured to a chair, I'm going to make some more popsicles because he can eat like two or three at a time and same goes for Aubrey and so I just need to you know whenever I think about it I need to make more so that I always have a constant supply of them. This is also great for when Jack is teething or he just really needs something cold in his mouth. He really loves sucking on these.
I'd like to thank Joy Tutus, I believe that's how you pronounce it, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent us two universal stroller cup holders that are made of silicone, and they are great for strollers that maybe don't have a cup holder or maybe can't hold the specific cup that you want, or if you want to hold your phone or your wallet or just something extra. I have this little like push car in our backyard that I push Jack around in with all the time, and the cup holder that came with it it wiggles it moves i'm always afraid that my drink is going to like spill on top of jack as i'm pushing him or sometimes it just doesn't fit my cup at all so having a little silicone cup holder here is really great and it held up well on our many loops around our backyard Another use for this silicone cup holder is actually to hold your kitchen utensils in the sink. You can kind of loop it over your faucet or I did it over our little like draining thing. I don't know what it's called, but I'm holding our glass jar with some diluted Dawn and our little brush so that I can, you know, wash our dishes, have things underneath, not have to have that cup sitting on the counter or in the sink. And I like how it has little holes in the bottom so that anything that maybe spills out can drain and it doesn't get all like sticky and gross at the bottom of the little container there. So I'm really excited that I have two of these so I can keep this one in the sink and use the other one on a stroller. So again, I'd like to thank Joy Tutus for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you guys are interested in this product, I will put the link down below in the description box for your convenience. But let's go ahead and finish our little walk and we're going to go ahead and check the mail as well. So after dinner, Juan came home and on this day we had a bunch of manure delivered for our side backyard and so we made many trips back and forth kind of pushing the kids in strollers and the wagon and whatever to put all of these bags of manure on our backyard. I took this little device and tried to open up some of the bags for Juan. I ended up coming inside and letting Juan do more work and I put Jack to bed and once the kids were asleep I decided to get to work and started to separate some balloons for a balloon arch that I was planning on setting up for our church Mardi Gras like Valentine's Day event. They had a little dance at the church and so I figured I would organize the balloons by size and blow up the little mini balloons and put them in a big trash bag so that I would have a little bit less work to do at the event the next morning. If I had enough bags or space to blow up all the balloons and bring them with me the next morning I would but I just figured at least getting the small ones out of the way would be great. I didn't film myself putting up this balloon arch. I just used kind of the plastic strip that they provided in the pack, but I think it really turned out cute. I Everyone seemed to like it when I was there setting up. I even had people asking me if I have like a card, so this might be a little side hustle for me, I guess, it, with the people at my church, but this is how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of random get it all done video. I know that I was really pleased with how productive I was this day, and so I really hope it motivates you to do the same. If you guys are new here and just stumbling upon my channel, I would love for you to check out some more of my content. And if you enjoy my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to like this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. 
Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.